Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again, of course, with another Paladins video, playing some Omen today, shotgun only Omen, specifically, which might go terribly, I haven't tried it yet, I thought it'd be fun for a video and also to talk a little bit about where he's at after, I think, two-ish weeks of being out, I'm not going to front the intro, but obviously for the talent we're going to avoid Amber Lands, even though it is the default and is definitely the most popular of the three here, by a pretty large margin, for the sake of the video, going to stick to Binary Void or Everyone Dies, probably Binary though, because Everyone Dies is still just a bit of a weird one. You can't really do much with the build to buff out this sort of aggressive shotgun playstyle. You can buff the speed and the F a tiny bit, but the build ends up looking kind of the same, which I would, you know, not really expect it to for challenge videos like what I'm trying to do here, but that's one of the main criticisms I have with Omen is that he has quite a few dead cards and quite a few cards that are better than the rest, even though they're all relatively fine you should get what I mean by that if you've seen and played enough. Definitely let me know your thoughts on that though now that he's been out a bit because I'd actually love to hear if it's changed from, you know, what you thought about him originally. Let's jump into game one, see how we do. Onslaught Primal Court, pretty much the perfect scenario for this. Grover, the end, Maeve, Ruckus, another Ruckus, Tyrus, Sarah, Charlene, Lex. So yeah, Binary Void and then the setup. The whole point of this is obviously to get close and spam the shotgun, which is, I imagine, somewhat of a valid way to play him. But obviously, usually people playing it with Umber Void sticking at like a medium range. Flux Generator, Precision, Rogue's Gamut, Rampant, Blooming, Rocket Barrage, Soul Collector, Mercy Code, Desert Silence, and Heroism. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble from anybody on their side. I don't really know where I should play. I'm going to try and play super close, I suppose, and just push. Let's go in on the Ceres here. She is not out, and I'm already dead. Okay, what a start. Let's try this one again. There goes the Lex. Hello, Shaolin. There's a grab, but I'm um, gone. We did get rid of one. That sort of worked. Pushing in with the F is obviously a really bad idea because I have no escape whatsoever. Got rid of the Shaolin. Let's tap the Ruckus. We're going to grab him and then dash over this way. Reload a bit. Got a bit of self heal, of course. I'm going to try and focus because the Ruckus, I feel like he's kind of a good target for this. I guess we can jump the Ceres as well. There we go. You do actually have pretty crazy burst if you tap it because your fire rate is kind of high. My accuracy today, though, definitely not. There goes the Lex. There goes Tyra. Shaolin's going to kill me. We're actually trading. Pop the ult there. See if we can make some space a bit. There we go. Melted the Tyra. I'll take it. Grover's ulting. We're going to dip down here. Get rid of the Ruckus. Just shotgun him. There we go. His ult's off. There's a Q on the Ceres. He should be gone. Lex is definitely the one carrying, by the way, in this game. We're kind of dealing with him, but trying to play Shotgun Omen, though, versus a Lex is kind of rough. There goes the Tyra. Just tap away a little bit. It does obviously buff our aim a bit when we grab somebody, which is a passive that I don't think I've ever thought of before until this video, even though I remember reading it when he was revealed. Dead to Lex, because I've got none of my abilities up. Hello, Lex. I'm just definitely dead. Yeah, I can't really do much. Even though Lex was nerfed, not the time he's running, uh, he's kind of in a free match here. So to say, if I crashed, I've actually just crashed. Nice. That's a classic moment right Right there. I don't know what crashed it. All right, well, I'm learning back in. The game is definitely over. They've won it. They had quite a big lead. I just spawned in getting killed at 400 points. Okay, yeah, there is the <laughs> defeat. Rough game one, but I did sort of get a pretty quick idea of how we should be trying to play this. We'll do another onslaught. I don't think Siege is going to be a good scenario for this. I will, of course, give it another shot. That match was like a minute there, but I'm going to change the build to summon like this. I don't think the Q heal is very useful because we're playing as a glass cannon. We're kind of going in using our entire kit, hoping to get one or two. I'm going to put in instead speed on the earth bit of extra distance and uh, yeah whatever the hell this is we'll try it all right so for game two we've got another onslaught primal court this is pretty much the ideal scenario for what i'm trying to show off you can get kind of stuck in spawn but if it doesn't work here i don't know where trying to do shotgun omen would work we've got avora ying tiberius and vivian up against grok cassie ash strix and Ceres. Definitely does feel as if I'm trying to go against everything that is like a meta omen, but hey, I did that sort of in the first video. So binary void, then the slightly modified setup will go double nimble. Sure, how fast do we after we pop the F? Yeah, pretty goddamn quick. I don't know what else I could do to buff his out, really. We've got Unyielding, Suspect Everybody, Titans Free, Resonance, Nocturnal Mortal Reach, Fortress Breaker, Exaction, and Spirits. In we go. I don't usually like seeing Tigons on Tiberius, but we'll see how we do. I'm going to run here early. Right click there. We have two charges on it. Seems like Vora is just gone. There goes there. Cassie, maybe we're going to dash in, push the Ash. Don't really know what I'm doing here, but there's a grip on her. A couple shots. I feel like I got a perfectly accurate one there, which goes against what I'm doing for the video because that Q does actually buff it. There's a little right click there. We're going to try and leave a Q there on the Ash. Sure, more taps on her just in the shotgun mode. The entire team is gone, except for the Vora who died already. Just got a chance to heal up a bit through the right click up there. Taking quite a few of them. To be honest, I don't know why they're just standing in it. Let's jump the Strix. Sure, this is kind of a good scenario for this. It's kind of like Flank Omen. There's the Q on him. I'm definitely dead, though. That's a Cassie. Oh, we'll dash through. Maybe the movement will be enough to carry me away. Oh my lord, just about. Am I getting chased? Are we all right? I just 
Reveal myself to that Cassian, we're fine. Definitely seems to work better with the speed here. Let's get rid of the Grok. No, is that Q going to finish him off? Hey, there we go. We actually got one. I wish I had some sort of reset with my kit. That would be nice. If we had a reset card, this would be way easier. Also, that consumed my entire ultimate, even though it didn't go off. Very, very weird. Most ults don't work like that anymore, but stash over here. I've actually got a decent bit of dodge ability here. Just about. Uh, we'll throw a right click on the door here from, but she's not going that way anyway. Hello, Strix. Little 80 damage headshot. We'll push in on her there. Get rid of the Grok first. I think it's kind of a priority if I can actually land anything. It's kind of hard to tell when he's in the ghost walk with that skin. Cassie is not out. I'm dead. That was painful. Throw another right click. Dash the Ceres. Can I land the shots? My god, my aim. And also, what is going on with the shot timing? I know it's kind of busted on Omen, but it's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> there goes the Ash, but sometimes it feels fine. Other times it feels just completely wrong from the animation. That feels really, really bad. But we'll get a bit more Chronos. Seems like we're actually doing all right in this one. This is definitely not that bad. I guess it could also be the server side of things messing up because the service connection symbol there is popping up. What are we on? 266. Yeah, that's definitely it. Strix is just chilling here. We'll throw that there. Just blast him. Don't know how I hit him for 400 there. Very inconsistent. There goes the Ceres. Yeah, Grok is going to push out here. Okay, let's get rid of him. Should be kind of easy. There we go. Although for some reason the fire rate on my thing feels so weird. Seems like we're kind of in this one. We're going to push up here with the Vora. There's a grab. That's not who I want that to go on. But hey, we got rid of the Grok. Just tap away. I'm really trying to not get the you know accurate shot here just for the sake of trying to show off the shotgun. That's a Cassie. We're going to run. Push on the Cassie. Shots on her here. She is not out. I actually got the grab but she's not dead. Dash over this way, throw a right click there. Hello, Strix. There's more shots. Yeah, there we go. If you're actually playing like a flanker with this, it's kind of solid. We'll push the Serious. There we go. Really trying to use the shotgun form here, and I'm actually not doing a terrible job. We'll go for the ult. Grab the Ash, throw her there. I got big damage on it, but it wasn't actually fast enough to clear her. We'll throw the right click there, just in case Cassie pushes, but I think we're all right. Right click there. Another one. I don't know if it actually stacks damage. I probably should have checked. We'll dash across. Hello, Cassie. I feel like I should try and focus her for sure. We'll throw a Grok away. I'm dead, by the way. I'm on 150. Can we dash across? Definitely feels better than the other setup where I was just kind of hoping the health and sustain would carry me. You do kind of need that tiny movement to see buff. It's definitely not making a crazy big difference, but it is kind of helping. Dash over here. Push the Strix. There we go. He's just... Yeah, seemingly unaware. There's a grab on the Cassie. No, can't get it because I'm not used to having this short of a range. People avoid the right click like a ton. Way more than I thought people would, to be honest. We'll push her here. Shots on her. Shotgun. Omen. Why does the fire rate slow down so much after like the first couple shots? It's obviously the weapon, but it feels terrible when I'm just trying to spam click it. I actually can't use it as a shotgun as much as I thought I would be able to in this video. Because after like the first couple shots, it really slows down on the fire rate and feels kind of horrible, to be honest. We'll throw another right click there. I do have the ult. I guess we can pop it. I'm just going to sit here. Thank you for the ult. I think that's the first one in the game. And it's like this far in. Uh, there's a Q on the Ash. Sure, more shots on him here. We're going to push in. I probably should run ammo gen in the setup, to be honest, but there we go. We'll right click. Let's get rid of the Ceres. Try and focus her down. There we go. We'll crap the Ash and dash across. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm dead. Cassie is definitely doing the best here. I'm trying to go after her a bit because I can tell that she is, and if I really push her, I'm sort of distracting her from the rest of the team because this is definitely a giant game overall. We'll throw our right clicks down. We'll get rid of the Ceres because we can definitely jump healers, really playing him like a flanker here. Really is flank shotgun omen. Don't know what half the team is doing in this one, to be honest. There goes the Strix. The screen is gray sometimes, and other times it's pure white. Don't know why, but hey, we got rid of him. There's a Q on Cassie for some reason. Sure, she's dashing in. We'll just ignore it a little bit. We'll dash this way for the speed, I suppose. So I got caught on the wall. Ash is gone. Right click there, and there is the defeat. That was actually a pretty good game for that. I feel like I might have actually done better because I played Omen weird in that one, not like the enemy team was expecting. I was kind of playing him like a flanker, and it sort of worked. 12, 6, 73k. I might be chatting a load of crap, but. I didn't do too bad there. I might have actually done worse, like I said, playing him normally. As I was sort of saying at the end there, the fast fire sort of shotgun mode feels really jank because when you try and spam click it, you eventually get slightly more accurate and you fire slower and trying to get the timing on that feels horrible unless you're just holding it and trying to purposely use the more accurate mode, which I would assume most of the time you are, but super close, it would be nice to be able to fully spam it. Maybe that would make him too strong or feel kind of weird. I'm not sure. The way he works now is fine. I just wish you had a bit more versatility kit and also, you know, weapon-wise to actually play it as a shotgun. Just want to show you what I mean really quick with how his weapon works and how it just is, in general, kind of jank. I said in a previous video with him that I kind of like the way Umbral Lance works because it isn't actually, like, pinpoint accurate. As you can see here, you can actually only hit a couple of the ticks and it will deal way less damage, which feels inconsistent in a good way. But on the other side of the spectrum, when you're trying to use the shotgun form, for it, at this sort of range, it actually feels fine. Surprisingly, you often deal the full amount of damage, or like 250. I don't really understand why the shotgun form feels more consistent than the burst. It's a bit weird. But when you're actually trying to spam it up close, like repeatedly clicking it, it slows down weirdly in a match. But I actually can't get it to do it here for some reason. What? Just played around with it for a minute, and I'm now assuming that it's got something to do with the server stuff, because I actually can't get it to do the slow down fire rate thing 
until like three or four, sometimes even five shots. Whereas on the actual match, I feel like I was getting it after two. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just perceiving it differently, but trying to get the shotgun here, I can really easily get the burst and then it slows down. It feels way worse with server stuff for some reason, Omen, I think just gets kind of cooked by it. Maybe I'm wrong, those of you guys that played Dimitan, please let me know. I'm hoping that at some point in the future they do some things to rework how he sort of feels at the moment. I don't know a better way to really describe it, but there's a lot of potential in Omen's kit, and sadly he's just missed it a little bit, in my opinion. Again, definitely let me know your thoughts, but he is very rigid of a character at the moment. And yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon, and as always, stay frosty.